Hello, yes, I am aware that Into the Woods has been out for a little while, so this review is a bit late, but after having seen it, it's really been bugging me as to why I didn't like it. I'm going to begin this by saying that I've only ever walked out of a film once. I've come very close a few times. The first Transformers movie, I came very close to walking out. Uh, Interstellar, if it had dragged on anymore, I probably would have walked out. But the only film I've ever actually walked out of is The Tree of Life. Because it's just such a load of nonsensical pretentious, boring bollocks. To explain just how much I hated that film, I actually left Kaylee in the film to walk out. She didn't want to leave, and I did. I actually left my girlfriend in the screen watching the film as I walked out. I just couldn't take that film anymore, and I just came back roughly towards the end to pick her up. Um, yeah, that's how bad that film was for me. I, that's such a boring, stupid film. Um, it's it's not smart, it's just pretentious. It's just, that's all it's got going for it. I say this because Into the Woods, I didn't feel like walking out of, but at the end of it, I kind of wish I would hadn't walked into it. But as I say, it's been bugging me ever since because I can't quite picture why I didn't like it. And it's that very awkward, awkward sort of style of film. As It's, you know, a lot of it works. When it's funny, it's funny. When it's dramatic, it's dramatic. When, it, you know, the songs, yes, it's a bit one note, but... There's nothing wrong with them, it works the whole way through, and there's a few very memorable moments. With the princes arguing over whose undying love for their unattainable princess was the most agonising, being a clear highlight. But, I don't know, it just didn't quite work. The cast was fine, the set was fine, everything was sort of fine. And it kind of bugged me what didn't work until it, until it hit me. Basically, at its root, it was a bad idea. Now, it was a very well-executed bad idea, but a well-executed bad idea is still a bad idea. It's just making the film from the get-go was a very bad idea. What I'm saying is that the film was doomed before it even started. The components just didn't fit together. The concept of the stories all overlapping, one of those fairy, fairy tale stories all having to have happened at the same time, that worked fine. That's a perfectly good concept. But none of them really, none of the styles of those stories fit together particularly well. It didn't really make any sense that those characters all existed together. Um, a lot of the stories did such little interaction with each other that they might as well not have been in the same place at the same time. There was no real... Anyway, they were tied together with this sort of weird witch's curse thing, but that, again, because that was the outsider story, that didn't quite work e either. And the crossing over of all the characters was so minor and incidental that it was kind of pointless, and you, and you really, you, if anything, you wanted more of that. The stories felt very different in style as well. As I mentioned, the, the Prince's Agony song um, was really funny. But if and if you know, the rest of the film had been half as funny as that, then we'd be having I'd be having a very different talk about it. A lot of the components were quite smart. The um, dramatic sense of you know, how how would these scenarios play out, how would these fairy tale scenarios play out if they were real, worked well. I mean, does charming really translate in in real world terms, or does it just translate as kind of flirtatious? Pleased to be charming, not sincere. Um, and then the comedy was was very funny. If we if we'd gone full on parody in that way, could have it also could have worked quite well. But then because the, the sections of that worked very well, um, and then you've got the surreal bizarreness of Johnny Depp as the wolf. Again, that worked by itself. That worked quite well. But the whole film didn't fit that. If that had been the whole film, then yeah, it'd be interesting. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole none of the films, all these three components I've mentioned there. And there's a few other things as well. But the film was never about any one of those. And the nonsensical pantomime nature of all the characters crossing in and out of each other's stories might look very might work very well on stage, but it just doesn't translate into film at all. Um, as in addition, the um, set pieces that again might seem quite impressive on stage um, are quite run of the mill uh, on a film. And I don't know. I think, I think that's just the problem. It's just it just was never designed to be a film. It should never be have been made. That was the problem with it. It was just a bad idea to make it as a film, even though there was nothing intrinsically wrong with any one part of it. It just didn't work as a film, which is unfortunate. Really, it's just unfortunate. It's, it's I mean, it's it's very hard to put. You can you can obviously somebody looked at the idea and thought, oh, this idea is really cool, and it wasn't really until the final execution, I suppose, possibly until the very final cut of the film that anyone actually would have looked at it and gone, ah. Oh, I guess this doesn't work. Um, but yeah, no, the film didn't work. Uh, not a lot you can do about that, really. And like I say, it's it's frustrating because it sounds cool. I'm talking about it now, and it sounds like a cool idea, and it sounds like uh, you know something you, you, that would work. But yeah, no, it was just 
uh, it's very core it was a bad idea and that's all you can say about it but yeah i had to get that um off my chest because it was it's really been bugging me since the end of the film i did walk out of the cinema thinking i didn't like that but i, I just not sure why and i think i think that because the components do work you might like it you might like it for for it, it, it's, it's it's various elements you might enjoy it and that's fine but it just it just didn't gel for me so i kind of feel like you might leave the cinema thinking i liked that didn't i but there you have it uh that's my uh, mini review here i will start posting a few more filmic reviews i try and get out uh, i'm going to get to some unlimited screenings and things like that so yes uh, hopefully uh, that's enjoyed i luckily the um into the woods disappointment was um, balanced by I saw Whiplash for the second time on the same day. Whiplash is an amazing film. Um, you really have to see Whiplash. It's it's so tense and so dramatic and so engaging. Um, the people in front of us, we saw it for the second time, and the people in front of us are like watching it like it was a horror film. It's really kind of so that, just that tense. But yeah, no, Whiplash is an amazing film. Go and see that. It's the best I can say for you. Forget Into the Woods. You might like it if you know. You probably know already if you like Into the Woods. If you want, if you act that idea of a surreal almost parody of fairy tales appeals to you go and see it but don't say i didn't warn you but yeah see whiplash just to see it because it's brilliant uh that's me that's all that's my um, movie recommendation then for the week or whatever uh the end all will come to a happy end not always <laughs>